Hello everyone, my name is Mohammed Radwan, I'm Developer Technologies MVP and Principal DevOps. We have a new series here for working with Azure to enable DevOps for building continuous integration and continuous delivery pipeline. So in this series, we are going to see many videos about different Azure components like Azure Web App uh, for under Windows and uh, Web App for Linux. We will also introducing Kudu, so we can we can see and understanding Kudu. We will look at the Marine DB and look at different configuration connect to that. So let's see, you know, what is the content of of the series. In the first video, we are going to see and understand the the, the main idea of infrastructure and configuration as code, uh, and also ARM or Azure Resource Manager. So we will understanding the problem that uh, infrastructure and configuration as good trying to solve and why we needed to work with this concept and part of that, how to integrate that with ARM and the technology be behind that. In the second video, we are going to use to demonstrate uh, how to create ARM template using Visual Studio 2017. So after we understanding in the first video, what is the ARM infrastructure as code and all of these concepts. In, in the second video, we are going to, to have a demo about how to create the ARM using Visual Studio. Of course, there is many different ways, but we, uh, we will focus on using Visual Studio 2017. In the third video, we are going to see how we can export an ARM template from Azure portal and reuse this template um, you know, in, in other projects if we want. For the fourth video, we are going to introduce and understand Azure Web App. So we will understand in the platform as services, why, I, I, uh, why we might go for platform as a service for web app instead of using infrastructure as a service for maintaining an infrastructure uh, for our application, for example. So we will understand that. And after that, we will see how we can work with Azure Web App for Windows and for the next one, it will be how to work with Web App with Linux. We have different experience about using Azure Web App with Linux and Windows, and I wanted to show the difference between them and how. For example, we can't mix Web App in the same resource group when we're working. If I'm working with Azure Web App for Windows, I can't mix one resource group with Azure Web App with Linux and Windows. So we will we will see this different experience. Also, we will look at the Kudu, which is the uh, services where we can manage and you know um, handle management for our web app. And we will see the difference between Kudu for Windows and Kudu for Linux because it's a little bit confusing for people like when, when, you, when you look for the, the, this feature, but it's not available on Kudu for Windows because it's only available uh, for Kudu for, for Linux, for example, or this is available only on Kudu for uh, Windows and so on. So we will see the difference between them so we are not, so we, we can, or we don't get confused. After that, we will see how we can establish an FTP connection to an Azure web app, either on Linux or Windows, and we can see how to upload our files to the, our web app. Uh, later, or after that, we will introducing the deployment slot, one of the very important feature in Azure Web App, which makes the platform as a service for Web App is, you know, um, commonly used and commonly selected because this feature of deployment slot. So we will get more understanding of that. After that, we will see how to work with MariaDB using an ARM template and how we can establish a, a connection of, of the database to the MariaDB and how we can see this connection, open the security port and all this kind of configuration and MariaDB is a platform as a services and is still in preview. And after all of that, we will take our ARM template, which is including web app and uh, MariaDB, and we will using Azure DevOps, formerly known as VSTS or Visual Studio Team Services, and we will build a pipeline so we can completely create our infrastructure on an Azure platform. So we will see all of this video. At the end, I would like to thank you for watching the video. Please, if you have any question, don't hesitate to contact me on my blog, mohammedradwan.com. 
also you, you can visit my blog with the link that will appear at the end of the video or uh, click on the related video which usually is part of this series um, or uh, give you more information about the same topic thank you